in an experiment we are going to test just how good ChatGPT is at writing an essay and see how I went from this it's not going to be exceptional to this okay so it started to produce I was absolutely stunned wow what oh I think I've just been made redundant how many of you clap? How many of you know what chat GPT is? Maybe. Any student will be able to write any essay on any topic with chat GPT. Big deal, big deal, big deal. I'm a professor in organizational psychology and with such big threats in the media, I thought I'd pose the question to ChatGPT, are you coming for my job? I'll tell you what it said in the final part of the video when I'll be interrogating the AI about its own essay writing skills. Stick around to see if I give it an A star. First, I need to find out how good ChatGPT is at writing essays and the experiment now takes place in my office. It's important students know the dangers of writing ChatGPT essays. It's possible that a professor may be able to spot an essay written by a language model such as ChatGPT if it is submitted on their module. Okay, so just gonna click into the system and we've got the question box down here below. How does organizational culture create forms of behavioral control? It's already starting to give us an answer, not in essay form. It's more in terms of just relaying the information to me in basic list and numerical form. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty impressive. If you just wanted a basic overview and an understanding, perhaps if you was going to Wikipedia or something, or you was Googling and you found something online, what I want now is to see if it's able to do something a little bit more nuanced and sophisticated, building up my prompts all the time. So I'm now gonna ask ChatGTP to do this in an essay form at 1500 words. And I'm also gonna ask it to include citations. This is really where we're gonna to get to the heart of the sort of assignment it's able to turn out. Citations are obviously the building blocks of academic thoughts and the ability for it to display this and engage in an interplay and develop thought and critique. This is really gonna show how sophisticated it can be. Okay, so it started to produce. Wow, that's pretty good for a first paragraph. What? Oh, oh my god, I think I've just been made redundant. Okay, so that was a little dramatic, but what I love here is that you can see in my face and here in the gulp just now, that I'm really actually concerned about what I'm seeing and where this is going. It's producing really good stuff and I'm just darting around thinking, Hey, uh, what is this doing? And I'm thinking, I've got to find some fault with this. So it's, it's writing the assignment and doing as I ask, and it's putting citations in there. However, at the moment, the citations aren't really varied. It's repeating the same sources, and also the paragraphs are quite short, so it's not really developing the point or the argumentation within these shorter form paragraphs. It's even kindly provided me a reference list at the end without me even asking. So I'm gonna test it and see if we can turn it up a notch or two in terms of the level of scholarship, the use of sources, how many sources, the variety of sources, and the array of sources which it's able to use. It's just said to me, sure, here is the revised essay with more varied citations and more critical analysis. This is scary. Yeah, it's interesting. When I watch this back now, I can obviously see the sort of the dumbfoundment in my face and just scratching my chin and just trying to work out what's actually happening. And I was just amazed at the speed, how this was just churning out so much stuff and the quality of what I was seeing. It was like I'd never seen anything like it before. It's all new to me, this AI and what it could do and produce. It was a real punch in the tummy. So we're starting to see two, three, four sources per paragraph. It's created paragraphs which are providing different perspectives and different angles on the question and looking at different themes related to culture and forms of control. It's able to provide examples uh, midway through the paragraphs as well. It has paused. I think I'll ask it to finish the assignment before it's late and doesn't get submitted. Please finish the assignment and also a reference list. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you believe this? I think I'm gonna go and have a lie down on the chaise lounge. Oh dear, that is pretty, pretty, pretty good.
And the interesting thing is if you keep on asking it to revise and, and improve, where is this gonna get you to? It's just so fast, and, you know, its ability to just churn out sentence following sentence, using sources and, and, and making legitimate arguments and points as it goes along. I also wanna know if I instruct it with specific authors that I copy and paste into the box, will it be able to place them within the essay text at the appropriate place and to make sense and to develop the argument in the right way? So I'm just gonna copy a specific citation from a paper uh, I know that would, would I would expect to see within this essay question and the answer that was provided by the students. So I'm going to insert this now into chat GPT. So I'm asking it to insert the source into the essay. Let's see if it's able to do this. What the... After picking myself up off the floor, I answer questions about the strengths and weaknesses of ChatGPT's essay writing skills. First, I will present my opinion and then ChatGPT will deliver its response, which confesses some dangerous flaws for student users to observe. Oh, and I also asked it if it was going to take my job. Will a professor be able to spot an essay written by ChatGPT if submitted on their module? They're easy to spot a commission piece of work. It just looks alien to the actual module in terms of the sources it might not be coming from the reading list. These kind of assignments get a very low mark. Although they might have answered the question, they haven't done it in a relational sense to the module. You get that feeling in your in your academic bones that something's wrong here. It is possible that a professor may be able to spot an essay written by a language model such as ChatGPT if it is submitted on their module. Language models can produce text that is grammatically correct and coherent, but it may lack the depth and nuance of an essay written by a human. Additionally, if the professor is aware of the existence of language models, they may be able to identify certain patterns or characteristics that are common to text generated by such models. Next question, how could ChatGPT be helpful with writing an essay? The initial sketching out putting words on the page, you know, disrupting the blankness, which is sometimes intimidating and problematic. And it helps us get a start and the formation of, of the idea. It can even help us initially surveying and, and understanding the field uh, before we go into the, the actual writing of the assignment. Because maybe it's just like other resources that you're able to use to look at other pieces of work and academic sources which address similar themes to the question that will be asking for. ChatGPT can be helpful with writing an essay by providing suggestions for word choice, sentence structure, and organization. It can also assist in general ideas and outlining the essay's structure. Additionally, ChatGPT can be used to proofread and edit the essay, making sure it is grammatically correct and free of errors. However, it it is important to note that while ChatGPT can assist in the writing process, it should not be relied upon to write the entire essay as it is important to put in your own thoughts and ideas. Next question, what is your advice to a student using ChatGPT to write their university essay? Of course, my advice is going to be don't use this to submit assignments. I think it's just going to get you in a muddle because it's going to produce an assignment but you're not actually going to the sources yourself and finding the sources. The mindset is to reward work, which is actually engaging in a critical dialogue from module material. Chat GPT just isn't gonna be able to do this because you know it's not on the module. It's not experiencing the module. It's not having a conversation with the lecturer. It doesn't know the lecturer's work. It doesn't know the lecturer's demands and what the lecturer has been encouraging and what that professor is warning you against or directing you towards. And these are the, the subtleties, the little things which, which allow the student to get a high mark. So it lacks the stylistics that a human writer would be able to imbue it with and the idiosyncrasies of, of, of the argumentation which is formed of positions and perspectives which are conveyed over in a paragraph. Advice to a student using Chad GPT to write a university essay would be to use it as a tool to generate ideas and assist in the writing process, but not to rely on it solely. It is important to remember that ChatGPT is a machine and may not fully understand the context of your essay or the specific requirements of your university. It's always a good idea to proofread and revise your work before submitting it to ensure that it is of a high quality and free of errors. Additionally, make sure to cite any sources used in your essay to avoid plagiarism. I'm a professor, are you coming for my job?
I've read so many times this week in so many different medias about how I'm potentially going to be out of a job in a few years. I don't think it's going to be AI. I think it'll be my own ineptitudes, which will be my downfall in the end. And not any forms of newfangled AIs that appear on the scene. No, I am not coming for your job as a professor. I am a tool that can assist with tasks such as answering questions, generating text, and providing information. I am not capable of replacing the role of a professor in a classroom setting, as I lack the ability to understand context, emotions, and to have a personal interaction with students. A human instructor brings a level of understanding and creativity that cannot be replicated by a machine. Oh, how sweet, ChatGPT. Much kudos to you too. Oh, and before you go, ChatGPT, uh, can you recommend any other good videos to watch? If you really want to know how to write an essay, I suggest you watch the video here on your screen. It describes five key things you need to do to get a top mark in your assignment. Dr. Egan is amazing in it. Also I suggest you click on the subscribe for more amazing content. It's been fun, bye and happy learning.